Hey, Michael Rosberg here, creator and author of the Tax Resolution Domination System and Toolkit. And today I want to talk to you about the six steps to providing exceptional client care. First, let's define what a client is versus a customer. Okay, a customer is someone who comes to you and has one transaction. Think of it like a retail store and a customer comes in, buys something on the rack, pays for it, and that's it. You never see the person again. A client usually is defined as someone that you have an ongoing relationship with, which is what we do, especially when folks hire us to resolve their tax problems. So one of the first steps to exceptional client care is to share this commitment that you have providing exceptional client care with your team. Get engagement, get, buy, get buy-in. Take what's in your head about your vision of what exceptional client care looks like and put it on paper or have a meeting and make sure everybody else is bought in. The second thing you need to do is to actually talk to your clients. Ask your clients what they consider exceptional client care. Trust me, they will tell you. And you can do this uh, through like a stealth survey about you know, their, um, their experience with your firm, with your front office, et cetera. I know in my firm at Tax Resolution Services Company, we had something that we called the 14 Touchpoint Client Assurance System, which basically meant was we were, touch, we were touching the client. And I didn't mean leaving a message on the phone or sending an email. We actually got the person on the phone in real time or they came into the office and we gave them a status case update every 28 days. And we actually did that within, we did that four times within the first 96 hours, and I'll explain that in a different video. But what we did was we made sure we told the client what was going on with their case, especially when nothing is going on with their case. That's the most important time to communicate with your clients when the IRS is in a holding pattern or there's nothing to be done on the case at that point. Because remember, if you take my advice and you're charging their credit card once a month or an ACH automatic uh, bank debit for the recurring monthly payments, client wants to know what they're paying for. So it's very important to stay on top of that and in communication with them. You know, one of the other things that you need to do is to, you have to accept that quality is going to cost something. I mean, think about it. What's the difference between going to a Motel 6 hotel versus a five-star hotel experience? Customers, clients are willing to pay more for, for better service, better quality, better engagement. So keep those things in mind when, it's, when we're talking about how do you provide exceptional client care. It's all about the client experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a CPA, an enrolled agent, or an attorney, and you want to learn more about the lucrative tax resolution niche, click on the link above my shoulder, enter your name and email, and you'll go to my free webinar training where I'll teach you and show you how to get tax resolution clients, what to say to them when the phone rings, how to screen them, how to segregate the looky-loos and the tire kickers from qualified prospects, how to schedule the appointment, know what to say, and more importantly, know not what to say to make sure they actually show up in your office or on the phone at the appointed time. I teach you how to get retained, close the deal. What do you say to these qualified prospects in order to get them to take their credit card out from their wallet, give it to you to get retained so you can start working the case and help them. I'll teach you how to get paid in advance before their case settles and how to turn them into referral machines. So just click on the link above, give me your name and email, you'll be automatically entered into that free deep dive training.